In this quick of the Exegius, we'll take a look at Olympic controllers. These modules allow us to send out small drones programmed for specific tasks. They are extremely useful when mining or gathering engineering materials and come in a number of types and sizes with several engineering choices available. There are eight types of Olympic controllers available, with their various purposes on screen now. Every Olympic controller will need to be paired with a cargo rack as limpets are stored within them. Limpets can be acquired in two ways, purchased from a station under advanced maintenance, restock, or via synthesis. Limpet controllers are bound to a fire group just like weapons. However, they can be used without your hard points actually being deployed. When you fire a particular controller, you'll hear programming limpet drone, which will then assign the generic limpet to its specific task. Looking at the various limpet controllers, starting with the most popular, we have collector limpets. These allow for the collection of cargo, materials, and mining fragments and can be targeted at specific items or simply sent out to gather as much as they can over their lifetime. Prospector limpets are used for mining, determining the makeup of an asteroid without the need to fire upon it and increasing its overall yield. Fuel transfer limpets, the fuel rat's friend, as its name implies, transfers fuel from your tanks into your targets. Hatch breakers, used by pirates, will pop open a target's cargo hatch, spilling out a small quantity of the cargo contained. Repair limpets will slowly repair a hull of a ship or its canopy if the canopy is still intact. Recon limpets are used in the hacking of data terminals at locations such as installations, with decon limpets used to remove caustic damage taken by Thargoid and human caustic missiles. Finally, research limpets are used to collect biological data from alien vessels. Limpet controllers only come in odd sizes, from class 1 through 7 and in A through E classes. For the most part, they follow standard module rules with an A class the longest lifespan, B class the longest range, and D class the lightest. The engineering blueprints lightweight, reinforced, and shielded are available for many. The most common mistake made when using limpet controllers is forgetting to purchase limpets before leaving the station. You'll also need to plan your build to have a large enough cargo rack to hold the necessary number of limpets for your task. For mining, this is generally one half to two thirds of your total cargo, and when using them for collecting during combat, as many as you can possibly carry. Limpet controllers can greatly ease the task of collection and allow you to help wingmates with fuel transfer, repair, and decontamination. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius, reminding you to fly dangerously, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that quickie with Exegius, I hope you'll check out my other content and join me on my weekly live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays, and the Creators Roundtable each Friday, and that you'll consider supporting my efforts via Patreon.